Hey guys, it's Adam with Outdoor Pet Solutions, and in this video, we're answering a question. One of our viewers made a comment under the video titled uh, Choosing Your Dog Fence Layout, and it's from Mary J. 2022. And she asks, um, my twisted wire is still sending a signal, and I don't know why. Do you have any ideas? So we're going to put pen to paper here and kind of draw out the scenario that she's probably experiencing, and I hope it explains what's going on and she can work around the situation. Okay, so we've got this piece of paper here, and I'm going to attempt to draw out the um, suspected situation that Mary J is dealing with. Um, I made this simple mistake early on. Uh, when I got into this industry and so it's a common mistake that can be made um, but once you understand what's going on you'll be able to work around it so uh, the twisted pair of wire cancels the signal out that's what we're told uh, but there are situations where you're attempting to twist things together and cancel the signal out and it's still producing the signal and and I'll explain that so you've got the wire running along and at some point along the wire, you want to create a spot where the signal's canceled out. And what a lot of times people will do is they'll go, okay, uh, the manual says twist the wire together and it'll cancel out. So you take the wire and you twist it back onto itself like this. Now, at this point, if this end gets back to the transmitter, we're gonna consider that box the transmitter, uh, it will have this whole area canceled out. That is no signal will be running through there. So that is correct. But a lot of times what people will do in an attempt to cancel the signal, it's usually a situation where they're trying to create a gate or an open area along the fence line where they want the dog to be able to go through. And so if this is the transmitter here, you're gonna come out around the yard with one single line. And a lot of times people will twist over it one way and then they'll twist back over it continuing around the yard by doing that the signal will still be produced so again if you bring it down twist over and come back and twist over and then go back the way you came even though you're twisting it that third pass over will be live and it will still produce the frequency so, you know, in the video that uh, Mary J commented on with this question is uh, choosing your dog fence layout. And so if you're trying, a lot of times people will do this when they're trying to allow the dog to come in and out of the back of the home. So say this is the backyard and this is the front yard and this is the home here. And instead of running the line around the front like we've, we showed in that other video, like this, like an hourglass, what they'll do is they'll go around the yard and then try to cut uh, cross back over to the starting point to complete the loop uh, near the back of the home. And, in, you know, they're thinking, well, if I cross, uh, you know, behind the house and then twist over itself and then go back, it will cancel that signal out. That's just not the case. It will still be live. Um, so I'm a suspecting that's probably what you're doing. Um, if that answers your question, great. If not, uh, feel free to comment uh, in this video and uh, let me know, uh, and I'll be happy to try to try to help you out. But that that's more than likely what you're doing and why the frequency is still being produced. Um, again, another option would be to just do the backyard and still allow your dog in and out. Is the double loop and that's where you've got the transmitter mounted to one side. You loop around and then you kind of, you need to take the line back the way you came, completing the loop so that the two ends get back to the starting point uh, and then your dog will stay within this area here. But these lines have to be separated because if they come too close together at any point, it will kill the signal. So as you're going around, you can twist them together and then continue around the yard um, like this, 
twist together and then they separate again. The signal's being produced here and here, but it's not being produced here. And again, that's confusing. That looks a lot like what you're doing over here with one single line crossing back over yourself or over the other line and then crossing a third time and then continuing around. It doesn't quite work that way. You've got to have both ends twisted together. All right, so I hope that answered your question, Mary J. If you have additional questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.